Welcome to Blind Bourbon and Whiskey Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new bourbons. We base our reviews off of a 25-point scale we developed and then multiply that by 4 to get up to 100. We start with 5 points for smell, then 10 points for taste, then 5 for the finish, and 5 points combined for the look of the bottle and the liquid inside. Now on to the review. All right, so we are back at the campground as you can hear <laughs> and see. Um, we brought some samples again, so Don's trying out this one. Lots of good notes on this. I'm really excited for this one because I definitely think I got them on this one. So I'm really excited. So we'll see how this goes. But you want to show off your cup and tell them what you're drinking right now? <sighs> He's going to make me do this. Okay. So John bought me this. <laughs> and y'all can hate on me if you want, but... It's a coffee cup, obviously. And it says Firefly Lights and Bonfire Nights. It's my camping coffee mug. Nothing wrong with whiskey in a coffee mug. No. My mom actually bought John a gray coffee cup last year for Christmas, and it says this is bourbon on it. So, you know, John doesn't drink coffee, so that's pretty fitting. But um, I don't know why I just picked this. I picked this cup just because I like it, and it's big, and it's nice, and it actually keeps it colder. So... <laughs> Um, but I am drinking Jim Beam Repeal. Um, it's really good. I really enjoy it. I mixed it with RC. We're RC fans over here. Sorry, guys. Haters going to hate, but we like our RC. Uh, it's really good. I, it gives you a nice little buzz. And good it's, mixer. I mean, it's nice. Uh, you rated it um, against Jim Beam White, and you yeah. said it was just okay neat. I actually really like it neat. I like it either way. It's not terrible neat, but I haven't quite gotten into neat with the younger stuff yet, so in time. But, all right, doubling into John, where are we at? Let's start off with your nose. What is that sniffer smelling? Oh, I get a lot. This is complex. It's got some age. It's got a lot of oak on it. Okay. I get toffee and a little apple. I was thinking, I don't know if they make them, like a toffee apple instead of like a caramel apple. Well, that's what it reminds mm, me of. I don't think so, but I mean, that would work, I guess. Maybe somebody should come out with that. A very little bit of an alcohol tingle inside the nostril. It just okay. tingles it a little bit real quick. Again, that strong oak, slight cinnamon spice. A little bit of tobacco shows up after it's been opening up for a little while. I really like that. I don't know why, but I really like the smell of tobacco and bourbon. And then there's something I got on this one that I don't get very often. Uh, a berry, a uh, raspberry, Ooh. like strong raspberry. Okay. It's interesting. I really like it. Give What'd it a 4.75. Ooh, what would have given it that 0.25? I'm not even sure. I'm not sure, just on the fence. Yeah. And just give it just perfect. I'm sure it, if it had a little bit more alcohol in it, like stronger, higher proof, this is definitely a lower proof on the smell. Okay. If it was higher proof, I think it'd smell a little bit it'd better. It'd be perfect. Okay, fair enough. Did you get the bug out of there? There was a bug in there. Oh, well, not anymore. He, <laughs> he went out in a blaze of glory though. This one is different. Mm. A lot of baking spices. Okay. Cinnamon, but like a sugary cinnamon, not like a candy, like a cinnamon sugar mix that would go on like a churro or something. Or like, you know, when you sprinkle it on buttered toast yeah. and it makes that nice. Yeah. I would never do that. Oh, well, poor people. Never tried what that. We do. <laughs> My mom would mix just ground cinnamon and white, just plain old white sugar get a piece of toast and put a bunch of butter on it and then you'd sprinkle that on there. It's so Sounds good. Sounds amazing. It is. It's really good. I guess we know what we're having for breakfast tomorrow. A little bit of black pepper on the middle okay. of the tongue and then rye toward the back. So is it like sweet and spicy kind of yeah. thing? Getting like the cinnamon sweet cinnamon it's but then you're complex. getting a rye bite? It has everything in it. Even a bug. Even a bug. There it is. Oh, there it is. I told you there's a bug in there. I can never get a glass of bourbon without anything floating in it. Well. Always have something. 
between our animals and our outdoor escapades. And, beard <laughs> and your wonderful beard. I mean, who knows? But I get a lot of oak on it too. Oak all the way throughout the okay. nose, the palate, the finish. Uh, it's definitely got a rye bite on the back. I can still feel that in the finish. Uh, the rye, I get. It's not a rye bite. It's more like the aftertaste when you eat like rye toast. Okay. I don't even know what it's, how to explain that. It's not a rye bite, but it just. I think when you eat rye toast, it's like, like a rye after you, flavor. Yeah, you just like get that whole like it, like just in your mouth. I love that rye toast is my favorite. It's very unique. I still think it's a lower proof. Ton of spice, ton of sweetness too. I don't get the the berry like I wanted to. In the taste? Yeah. Okay. I think that would have been amazing. Probably. That would have bumped the taste up a little bit too, but I give it an 8.5. Whew. All right. Loving on it. All right. And the finish, I still feel the oak on the tongue. Uh, the spice starts out strong and then fades to that oaky char okay. aftertaste that sticks to the tongue. The liquid is, it covers the whole mouth, but it's thin. It dissipates quickly. So it's like a medium finish, but long on the tongue. Okay. Not really any hug at all. This is something you could drink for a long time, all night, all day. Maybe even on a warm day. It wouldn't affect you if you're just sipping all day. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's near perfect. Mm -hmm. If it, I wouldn't, oh, maybe not near perfect. If it stuck around the whole mouth a little bit more, it'd have like a point higher, but it's thin, so I'd give it a 3.75. Okay, fair enough. You like your finishes a little long, so. Now the color is like a orangish brown tinted amber. It's very pretty. Maybe a dark honey. Mm-hmm. Shows up really good in the video right there. Yeah, it does. And the Especially legs. the fire in the background. Legs are thick. Yeah, those are nice thick legs. You can Sticks see them to the glass. Running down it. Long streams all over. That dang dog's eating in the background. <laughs> I give the color full points. 2.5 on the 2.5. Alright, so. Okay, so. That brings 19.5 before the bottle. Now, I know you had a sample. I don't know if you have the bottle here. I don't have the bottle here. And I saw I'm, the sample jar. I'm very upset because I should have brought it with me. Um, this is going to give it away, but this is probably my favorite bottle that we have. I am very happy that we got blessed to get this as a gift from one of our friends. Um, he was supposed to get a shipment of it and never did. And John went in to buy a bottle and he gave it to John and it was very sweet of him. Um, we tried it a few weeks prior to that and both of us really loved it. This company is based out of Wisconsin. Um, they have, I think they have a barrel proof. They have the bourbon, they have a, like a gin. They have a couple little other things too that they're doing. So they're not just whiskey and bourbon, but it is Driftless Glen. Okay, you fooled me pretty good on this one <laughs> because I was getting a sample for you after yes. you left and I'm like, my driftless is low. She gra grabbed a sample and then I came into the camper and I said, you can't use this sample because I know it's Driftless Glen. And I was going to use it anyway. I didn't care because I was really excited to get this one in your cup. Um, awesome. Absolutely awesome smells. Uh, like you can tell John's got a whole page full of notes that he got out of this one. So like, did you get info on this one? Cause I thought this was pretty young, but I didn't get anything young on the taste. Um, so it is 96 proof. Really? Um, this is, I, again, you don't one have of to show things. the picture. I'll have it in the, okay. In the beginning. Of so the you video. guys will be able to see the video, um, when John edits it. Um, let me see. Actually, you, you could probably show the bottle anyway, I guess. It's it's really awesome. Just uh, like 
It's like a decanter. Yeah. I, honestly, if you took the sticker off of it, I would use it as a decanter. I'd probably it's very pay pretty. 50 to 60 bucks just for the bottle, not even knowing what's inside the juice. Well, okay. that's so going to get full points on the Yes, on so the bottle. this is the bottle. Try and get it. Um, it is just square. On the back, etched in, it has one of those metal windmills that you see a lot out west, a lot um, in the Middle East um, of the United States. A lot of country, like, very, very rural towns. Okay, so after looking up a few things, it is aged a minimum of two years they do not disclose how many years but a minimum of two um they're normal they have uh bourbon whiskey they have a single barrel bourbon they have a rye they have gin they have vodka they have something in like wine barrels and they also have moonshine so they've got a little bit of everything going for anybody um so the back to the bottle. The bottle is my favorite because on the back it has one of those windmills that's etched in glass and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's decanter-esque. Um, it's very pretty it's on the sides. Decanter. Yeah. I'm going to keep this bottle for a decanter. Yeah. And then on the sides it has thumbprints on each side of it like you're grabbing it and I'm. Mean, it's just just all around it's a very unique bottle, a very unique pick and it's pretty amazing juice in there. I really want to try the single barrel now. I know. <laughs> we'll have to go over to Wisconsin. It's so not too it, far of a hike. So. Did it say what size barrels they use? It said that they use normal American bourbon barrels. So the normal like charred oak. Gallon? Yep. So I'm going to research a little bit after the video and I'll put it in the com or in the description. See too. if I can find out a little yeah. bit more about this. It's definitely very interesting stuff. So that being said, back into the actual review. Um, so where are we at points wise? Oh, the bottle gets 2.5. Yeah. So that brings it up to an 88, Whew. which is tied for second. Wow. Yeah, which absolutely blows me away because I didn't think I liked it that much. It's uh, some pretty good it's, stuff though. It's very similar to the Evan Williams single barrel that I just got. Sweet, somewhat lower proof, spicy all around really good i can tell you if that was a little bit thicker on that finish it'd be perfect that'd be in the 90s that might even oh. pass elmer i can't Oof. even believe i'd say that that single barrel might pass it oh it might we're gonna have to make a trip to wisconsin that might be one of the they do sell driftless glen in michigan we gotta find it though i know he had said that they were starting to distribute we just haven't seen a lot of it out here but we also haven't been looking for it so Definitely something we're going to have to look for and try and find that single barrel and do maybe a head-to-head -head with them or something. Pretty sure it's around $40. So. Um, it said state minimum for us for just the bourbon whiskey is thirty four ninety nine, wow. which is a great price for what they're putting out. I would out. buy any bottle I've seen. Of yes, that. I would definitely buy it every time we see it. We're picking it up. Mm. I don't care. <laughs> I won't get yelled at for that one. <laughs> we can have many of those, but... So definitely, guys, I don't know how far their distribution is. I don't know how big they are yet. Well, we don't get much in um, Michigan, so it might be. It might be everywhere else. We're not sure, but it's just starting to show up here, and we're super excited that it's here. So we're definitely going to start looking for that single barrel and see if we can't find it. But until then, there you have it. Driftless Glen, just bourbon whiskey, 88 out of 100. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.